This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Ford Edge. It is a 2013 Ford Edge Limited four-wheel drive, um, all-wheel drive. It has 73,956 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Please look at the uh, four uh, pictures of it before it left Albuquerque. You'll see it looks just like this, except that the clips uh, were reattached on the bumper cover right underneath the passenger headlight it was unclipped I don't know if they're about to steal the bumper cover or what but we clipped it back on and pretty much looked like this now it had a bunch of scratches that we had to repair someone had keyed the crap out of it um, so we had to do some work on that but uh, basically it's the same car they gave it a salvage title because the insurance companies like they do on most uh, salvage thefts give them a salvage title even though they're not wrecked because they don't want to get sued by the next owner. They sell it to us on a clean title. We sell it to you on a clean title. You get killed in it. You know, USAA, who happened to own this car, um, you know, has a lot more money than Wheel Kinetics. So a good lawyer might be able to go through us to them. So they give it a salvage title, which basically ends their relationship with this car. That's why they do it, attorneys. There's a little three minute animated video on the topic in our salvage theft ads, please watch that. Anyway, we get it here. My guys hand me this before I do a video. Nice car, is what they say. Um, all the options will be in the ad. There's tons of stuff going on and options in this car. Um, we did a new windshield that had a cracked windshield. Uh, we did oil and filter. Uh, we did an air filter and a battery. Then the cosmetics. We were gonna do nothing, and then it's such a nice car, and we're like, you know what? It's gotta look better than it looks. It had big key marks on the driver's side that we could have touched up, and it would look like Frankenstein stitches uh, on the driver's door, passenger door, and on both fenders. So uh, we, had, uh, we hired our best painter, Mario, who's just great, and he did basically the entire driver's side so it would match perfectly, and it looks great. He did the front bumper cover because it needed it. He did the rear bumper cover and he did both fenders. The only thing he didn't paint were the passenger side doors and the passenger side quarter. And when you see the before pictures, you'll wonder why. Uh, there were no dents, there was no wrecks. It was just a mess. It just had really bad scratches and if we would have touched them up, it would have looked even worse. So it was one of those where if we don't, no one will want it. And if we do, we got to tell people what we did because that's how we roll. All right, and so we're telling you, and it looks great, but it was done. Oh, and the hood was not painted. Okay, the hood still is the original paint. It's got the couple little rod chips. It looked, it looked good enough to, to deal with, and they didn't key it, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, the bumper cover, everything's original. Bumper cover is the same bumper cover it was born with. Everything's original. No Bondo went on this thing. It just had to get painted. It had to get, all that crap was had to get dealt with, so. Anyway, the tires are excellent. They're 20s. I believe they're 20s. Yeah, they're 20s. Uh, and uh, very high rubber. I'd say at least 50%. Uh, like I said, the passenger, there's a little ding right here. Um, somebody had passed and touched up a little scratch on the handle there. Um, we didn't touch the uh, passenger side from the fender's back because it was fine. A full repaint would have cost or Mario would have taken about a month and a half because he's really slow because he's very anal about his quality. It would have taken about a month and a half would have been about 2500 In this case, I think we spent 1500 and it looks great. It's not perfect because we didn't paint and do everything. There's still, we didn't do the lift gate. A little stain right here. And we didn't change these plastics here. You know, so... But it looks great. I mean, honestly, for a 70,000 mile vehicle, you would swear it had a lot less miles than that. But uh, my job in these videos is to make sure you know what you're buying, not to BS. Lots of people will be all over this vehicle. We don't have to sell it to the first person who sees it like they'd have to do it a brick and mortar. Um, they are under the gun to sell to the only person who may hop in that car on their property in a month, and uh, we're not. 500 people a day will see this. There's the alarm. Got two keys. Uh, so we don't have to do that. We can just find the right person and uh, tell the truth. And it's a beautiful thing. Sleep like a baby. All right. There you go. There's your mileage over there. 73,965. It's a really pretty car. The interiors are cool. 
uh, limited uh, four door 73,000 miles there's your suggested uh, Kelly Blue Book on it, 21,765. There's your mileage, 18 and 25. Boom, boom, boom. All this stuff will be in the ad. No need to freeze this and stare at it. Just look at the options list in the ad. Of course, Carfax hasn't caught up with the salvage title yet. So if we were like everyone else, we wouldn't even have told you about the salvage title and you'd be screwed. All right? But uh, again, that's not part of our thing. We did this. Carfax 10 7 16 at 348 Eastern Time and it still doesn't show the uh, salvage title which we got like a month ago so just put that in your uh, mental Rolodex when you look at Carfax um, they're not exactly the most accurate group in the world uh, I would trust the services and stuff a lot more than I would trust the MBD stuff and it was stolen on 7 12 16 and recovered the next day and they probably didn't run it on a clean title because it was keyed so much. That's probably why. Because um, even on this car, the, they, I, I bet they really wanted to do it as a as a uh, clear title, and that just probably kicked it over the edge. Anyway, USAA was since military owned. That's always a good thing. That means its life before it was stolen was probably very good because military people take care of their stuff. There's Wheel Kinetics title, and it's salvage, and it's dated 9 12 of 16. Okay, so a month later, Carfax still hasn't caught up. So, I just like to rub that into Carfax because they're never right about anything. So, anyway, there you go. Alright, there you go. What is that quiet? That is a running motor. There's the in on the hood, which is a good thing to always see. No? Right. Come back here. There's your passenger window. Pretty car. The interior on this is really cool. Alright, there's your seat back forward and back, the whole seat back, let's go forward first, and back, and up, and down, all right, that seat works fine, there is no manual, no, nothing in there, there's a outlet there, You know what the best news is? It doesn't have a moonroof. Thank God. Oh, I got the locks on, don't I? Let's see what we got on here. Let's see. There you go. That's kind of cool. Obviously, these guys will fold down. locks on huh so I guess it's just child locks for the rear seat which would make sense wouldn't it all right there's your driver window past your window past your rear window there's the ones with the child locks on them and driver rear windows and let's do this go back to the lock to the windows and there you go just gotta take the child locks off anyway there you go I just want to make sure that they actually did work there's your mirrors, out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, down, let's see, door locks. There's your door locks working. Power seat forward, back, up, down, seat back forward and back let's see what else we got going on here we got a here's your tilt wheel up and down that. and the air is feeling really good in here because it's freaking hot in tucson and we're gonna have halloween pretty soon unreal better than uh southern florida today all right let's see what do we got going on here 
heated seats. See those little buttons coming on there? I don't want them to heat it though, so I'm gonna turn them off. But they work fine. Let's see, radio. There's that. Let's see the station chain. Let's see if we can apply this. Blah, blah, blah. There's tune. I'm doing this. All right, so radio works fine. What else we got in here? Buy that information. Does not have navigation, which is also fine with me since we have phones and all that stuff. Has the sink, blah, blah, blah. There's some connections if you want to do with a DVD player, USB, all that stuff. All right, let's go for a ride. Tilt the wheel down here a little bit. Apparently I'm gonna need some gas pretty soon. All right, um, let's see. This is on a salvage title. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, we cannot issue you driveway plates and you can't get insurance on a uh, salvage title. We have to take it to the cops and get an inspection done in order to get you what's called a restored salvage title, at which time you can get insurance that we could issue you plates. We charge $200 to do that. Before you get here, it ties up our, one of our guys for four to 10 hours. Um, so if you're coming here, the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna uh, pay $200 to restore the title. Then you're gonna pay $250 dock fee, and then you're gonna pay taxes, of course. 2% city sales tax here, plus your state tax. So, if you're coming here to drive it home, very simple. Your state tax rate, plus our 2% city, plus $250 dock fee, plus $200 to restore the title. Very simple. You pay by wire and ship, well, this thing runs like crazy. Love it. If, you come here, uh, if you're gonna ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price, um, unless you wanna click the box for us to restore the title before it ships out. If you do, we'll take it down and we'll get it restored and you will get a restored salvage title instead of the current salvage title. Just click the box uh, to restore. It'll add $200 to the deal and we'll do it for you before it ships out. If you pay by wire and ship, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name and address, your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you. We'll notarize it. We'll scan it into your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan into your online file the envelope we mail it in. Everything we have, everything we know about this vehicle, you know. There is nothing left out. We have no secrets, okay? Um, I'm driving in a really great air-conditioned car, too. I'm very much appreciating it today. Um, and this is a beautiful car. I'd take this thing to Maine right now. Um, deposit's $500. Once you get your deposit uh, in, your name will go in the banner over the vehicle at wheelconnects.com and insurance. Until then, it is for sale, okay? So please get it in, uh, get the deposit in. Um, there's oftentimes we have races, we can watch this happen online, and we know that when people are putting their information at the same time, somebody's gonna get beat out on the deposit because someone's faster, and then we're gonna get an ugly email about how, it's not fair, I wanted that car for my daughter. That happened last week. <laughs> and we just said, well, you were slower than the other guy. Simple as that. Um, <laughs> so, be ready. Um, what else? Warranty speech. It's out of factory and warranty by miles and years, actually by years, not by miles, but by years, and it's on a salvage title. There is no warranty. Uh, if you get it and it breaks the day you get it, you're going to get it fixed with a check or a credit card that you own. We are not, don't call us for a check, we're not giving you a check. There is still some risk involved here. I don't think there's hardly any risk. It's a hell of a car, but, we're not Nostradamus. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the next stoplight right there. I'm only 100 yards away from it, but I wouldn't bet my life I'm gonna make it there, okay? I could get taken out by a bus or the motor could blow up, who knows? If I knew what was gonna to happen to every car I ever bought, um, I'd be a millionaire. I would never buy a bad one, and I bought plenty of bad ones. They just never make it online, okay? <laughs> they end up going to the auction, and it's very sad, and we lose money. The cars that make it online are good ones. But, I don't know. I mean, the next day they could uh, have a problem. It could need a new radio tomorrow. It could need a power door lock. It could need a transmission. Right now, it just needs a new driver and 3,000 miles of oil change. <laughs> That's what it needs, okay? Uh, but be realistic, please. You're saving a bunch of money because of the title. Um, and uh, some of that money may have to go into a repair sooner or later. Everything breaks. Just be realistic. We want the right buyer in this car. We don't need any crybabies and whiners. Big boys only, big girls only. Thank you.